monopolies. You know, the greedy business buys up the competitors or ruthlessly undercuts them, and then it gets so big it can charge whatever it wants and nobody can compete with them. That's why we need anti-monopoly laws, the Federal Trade Commission. And they sued you for being a monopolist. I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> they said we were a monopoly of premium and natural organic food supermarkets. <laughs> Which, I mean, we invented it. <laughs> Our argument was that, I mean, Safeway, Kroger, Walmart, Costco, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, all these guys sell products similar to ours. There's no barriers to entry. It's a very competitive market. But you lost. You had to sell 32 stores. Well, I mean, we spent over $30 million in legal expenses. We won in the courts, but the Federal Trade Commission has their own courts, and they told us after we won in the federal courts that they were going to take us to their courts. And I asked the attorneys, what's that going to cost? And they said, well, to get that all the way to prove your innocence probably cost you another $100 million. So we did the math, and uh, we compromised. Is there ever a time when there should be prosecution of a monopoly? Absolutely. Take the public school system, for example. <laughs> that it can only really be a monopoly when there's government force involved. Sure. Uh, capitalism is so dynamic and so competitive that you can get temporary competitive advantages, but people come along and imitate that. They innovate. They leapfrog beyond you. And uh, you don't need the government to protect people from monopolies because the market protects people from monopolies. Not long ago, the government said General Motors was a monopoly. I Nobody know. could compete with them. I mean, they were always talking about breaking up General Motors, and uh, last time I checked, they actually went bankrupt. <laughs> I don't know how a monopoly could go bankrupt. Now they say Google is a monopoly. Yeah, I mean, there's always the boogeyman, somebody that has a temporary competitive advantage. Um, you take Microsoft, I mean, we'll never know for sure unless Bill Gates writes his memoir someday, but it was pretty soon after his antitrust case with the DOJ that he decided, you know what, I can be, I'm the richest man in the world, I can be hated and have my name dragged through the mud and stay as the CEO of Microsoft, or I can become a philanthropist and everybody will love me. Um, and certainly the Gates Foundation has done a lot of good stuff in the world, but... But you would I, say they did more good making money. Microsoft has made our lives better in many ways. So, and what has Microsoft really done since Bill Gates retired? Now you could get sued for being a monopoly if your prices are too low, that's predatory pricing, or if they're too high, which is monopolistic pricing, or if they're the same as competitors and that's collusion. <laughs> or all of the above. And I think that's how they want it. I mean, everybody, if all businesses are guilty of some kind of anti-competitive uh, uh, practices, then you can, you can persecute business anytime you want to. And that's, I think, the way, uh, I think the, way the government likes it.